How are we doing today, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Brendan Reviews, and the last episode of Iceberg Chronicles, we touched upon MD Pope, right? Well, that was just a taste of what's, what is to come throughout this entire series. I'm not going to keep giving you heavy hitters right up the front, so I'm going to go ahead and dial it back halfway to Tier 4, not Tier 8. So, in Tier 4, there is a movie called August Underground. It is a movie that came out in 2001, directed by a guy named Fred Vogel, and it's about a guy who's best friends with a serial killer, and he just follows him around as he does all of his shit. So, pretty simple story, found footage, um, it's on every top 20 disturbing movies list, so you know what? I haven't seen it. Let's see if it's as bad as everyone says it is, and then we'll break it down. So, this is... August Underground. Warning, this film contains adult language, graphic violence, and nudity. Viewer discretion is strongly advised. <laughs> Alrighty, that got me laughing. Oh really, huh? What am I gonna love, huh? Oh shit, we're already jumping into it, okay. Oh my gosh, I got one question. How much did they pay this damn actress? Oh, they're stepping in her feces. Is it a problem to say that this is string like strangely comedic? Oh, are they just gonna like gutter? Oh, this is just sickening. Oh, please don't cut it off on screen. It's, if that's actually an apple, it's not that bad because, I mean, I've eaten a few core, of, like, I've eaten a few apple cores in my day when I was, like, extremely hungry. Oh, fucking shit! <laughs> Why is he disgusted by that? He's mutilating these people and he's disgusted by the shit? They just left her down there. Why? Well, I mean, I guess that's the point. Never mind. I was gonna ask a stupid question, like, why are they talking like they're normal people? I think that's supposed to be the point. Duh. How much you got on you? You got shit, right? Come on. Show me chance. Come on. Yeah, these guys are real classy. <laughs> If you're holding the camera, you just rewind it back. You don't need... Wow, these guys are assholes, man. She already showed her... Classy. I love this. I especially can't show anything on YouTube. That's what I like the most. Oh, my God. Who the hell... Who do they pay? How, like... Get the fuck out of the car, please. Oh my god. He's gonna rape her or some shit. Well, I mean, he technically is raping her. I mean, he forced her into it, right? You know? Oh, shit! Oh, damn. Okay. <laughs> yeah, haha. -ha, so funny. You gotta think about how humiliating that is in real life. Like, your final moments are on camera of these two douchebags taking advantage of you where you don't have any money and they force you to show your, like, breasts, force you to show your genitals and then t degrade you in such a way by telling you to suck his, yeah, and then he kills you. Like, he pummels you in the face until you are dead. All on camera. Don't fucking laugh, dude. Don't fucking laugh. Don't laugh? Oh, we're back at it. That's disgusting. Oh. 
Oh, that's just disgusting. They smeared it all over her crotch. Oh my god. <coughs> Jesus Christ. Holy shit. I literally can't show a fucking thing. I a fucking thing. What do you wanna to do tonight, man? What do you wanna to do tonight? <laughs> Thrown up in the very <laughs> toilet that he cut that dude's penis off of and threw it into. Let me see. What do I have in my bag of goodies? This is the Santa Claus of fucking dismemberment. Coming in with his big fat sack of goodies. Holy shit. Okay, so now they're at a party, and I don't know what the party's for, but okay. If you guys feel like you're missing anything, you're not. It literally will just cut from one scene to the next because it's supposed to be like a daily vlog of their fucking life. Oh, we got our boy out there. Oh, fight, another fight's breaking out. Oh, are guys getting thrown out? Yep, they are. Oh, no? I thought that maybe he would, like, grab a rock and go up to him and pummel his ass with it. I was going to say, is she finally dead? Jesus Christ. Oh my god. What the fuck? <laughs> but, uh, the friend ain't laughing there. The friend isn't laughing there because his best friend just happens to be a fucking serial killer. Throws him up and like, he knows that that joke could actually mean something one day. Oh no, they're gonna use this to get access to the house and they're gonna kill that elderly woman, aren't they? This is fucking ridiculous. Holy shit, you guys just act like fucking five-year-olds. Despite them being killers, like... <laughs> Catch your ass! Let me ask this, like... Did the director, like, in real life know these people? And let him, like, film inside of their stores or whatever? So they're, like, bribing him, so they're gonna bribe him not to call the police? Thank you. <laughs> Got a fucking... Magazine? Let me guess, it's a porn magazine, because you just reach from behind the counter to give it. And. Oh, shit! They keep going back! Shit, fucker! What just happened? What? Oh, shit! This has escalated! These guys just. Don't, don't even fucking care at all. You know, they're in a public place. These are this. This is amped up. Like it's gone from crime in their house to random crime to fighting in public, and now there's three people that they're trying to fuck up. No, 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 no. Come on, don't do it. Jesus. <laughs> These guys are just the sickest, most disgusting, despising, like this, oh my, despised group of delinquents. Wits. Oh! He just hit her in the back of the fucking head with a baseball bat. 
Oh! Whose gas station did they get to film this in? Oh shit! He just cracked his head on the uh, glass. What happened to- yeah, what happened to the other guy? What happened to the guy that actually owns the gas station? He wants to fuck me, look at him! What did they stab him with? Oh shit, dude. Oh shit. Wait, wait, the police just showed up and then... Did they outrun the police? Oh, <laughs> uh, no, I'm, no, I'm, uh, super classy. What can I say? <laughs> like, out of anything right now, this is a realistic... Like out of any, out of everything, the realism factor it's it's really up there. Um, so yeah. What the fuck? I should have been a stand up. Did they do this downstairs in their own basement and like just propped up a whole bunch of nude images on the wall? Or do they like kidnap them and bring them back to his house? I don't know. Regardless, the brother's dead, and yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm going to hell for laughing. <laughs> oh, with the fucking hammer? Oh man, I feel like I should start this thing where. Like, I put up the, like, I, <laughs> like, I have this thing where I can, like, put up a fucking sign that says, awkward, like, and keep a tally for every single time I do one of these. An awkward tally. Oh, my God. Uh, did they actually pay these people? I'm so confused. Like, how do they get people to do this? I don't like this shit. I really don't. How much is left of this fucking movie? Okay, ten minutes. Jeez. One hour later. Do I need to bypass this entire part? I don't even know how I'm really gonna show me reacting to this damn movie. Two hours later. Jesus Christ. Can this scene just end? Three hours later. So much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting, and they had to hire a new one. So they are at his house. What the fuck were you expecting to happen? Of course she's gonna run. Oh, that was it. <laughs> um, well, um, okay. That is August Underground. <laughs> God damn. Um, <laughs> oh, shit. Um, okay. I, I need to think for a minute on how to even go about rating this, so... <laughs> I'm gonna cut it. I'm gonna cut to when I'm actually gonna review it, but I need a minute. <laughs> Without further ado, what's up in the shit? <laughs> Quality and production of this. Okay, so... What, what is the whole point of the movie? The point of the movie is to be a realistic, found footage-esque style of um, movie, right? It's supposed to act as if it is very real. So, I'll say this. The quality of, like, the actual video style, the way it's presented in this really gorilla-esque, like, mood, the ferociousness of it and most of the acting save for like a little save for that one guy in the gas station not the gas station attendant but like the guy who had to sniff his girlfriend's butt 
besides him, every uh, all the other acting in this movie is pretty good. So those are two big pluses for it. Um, the other big thing is, is um, with how much the movie has an emphasis on like random, random account of just two guys like filming their lives at just so happens they're deranged as shit. Um, it feels very believable. Like um, if this movie wasn't called August Underground, didn't have the warning at the beginning of it, and didn't have the credits or anything, and you just took the footage and threw it out onto somebody's yard, they would probably think this is real. So that's a huge plus to it. Um, I don't know of too much of a negative, honestly. Besides just the one actor, um, the, the quality and production of this thing is pretty damn good. The effects look real. Oh, like gory looked all the gore looked very grimy and like big and visceral and it's just like yeah so you know what just because of that one actor I'm gonna take off 0.25 points and give August Underground for the quality and production a 1.75 out of 2 now moving into realism so as I said this thing feels very realistic you throw this out into somebody's yard and they pick up the tapes without the without the warning and without the credits or any of that somebody is gonna think this is real made by like absolute deranged madmen I personally think that though some of the stuff is a little bit unrealistic like with how they were able to get away with so much the grand like the elderly woman she was um she was really dumb for letting him into the house and then and then we have how he's able to get so many people over to his house and kill them in the basement, right? Not to mention, where did all of those bodies even go? Maybe that's figured out in the sequels, or maybe that's never even touched upon because that's not the point, but still, how is he getting everyone into the house? And it's kind of like what I wanted to know. And um, then the other part of it that is a little unrealistic is how much he got away with, especially in that gas station. He fucked up three people there two men one woman one of them even worked there and called the police and they managed to outrun the police too so not too realistic but still realistic enough to give off a lasting impression so i'm gonna go ahead and give for the realism uh because it is a little too unrealistic at time at times they got away from the police and they um managed to get away with a lot more than i think guys like them would have I'm gonna go ahead and give August Underground for the realism a 1.25 out of 2. Now moving into the gore score. This thing is undoubtedly brutal, um, very disgusting, and the violence in it is hard to handle. It is bloody, it is gory, it is sickening on every level, and for it, I'm gonna give August Underground for the gore score, baby, a two out of two. And finally, moving on to Creep Factor. As I said during the reaction, I got goosebumps at times, and so that's a decent, that's a very good sign that you're getting somewhere with it. Like, I kind of want to turn on the lights a little bit, but at the same time, like, I'm good. So overall, I think the movie it has some definite disturbing moments that are incredibly hard to handle. Um, I think that there are some moments that will truly make the hair stand up on the back of your neck, but what's the overall lasting impression? To me, it doesn't leave that much of a lasting impression. It doesn't leave as big of an impression as, you know, even Daddy by Corn um, in, the scary, in, the action, in um, the other Scariest Media series. Overall, but I, won't, I can't deny that this thing is hard. To watch it does make your skin crawl it does make the hair stand up on the back of your neck but it doesn't leave that lasting impression so I'm gonna knock off one point for it and give August Underground for the creep factor a three out of four with a 1.75 out of two for the quality of production with a 1.25 out of two for the realism with a two out of two for the gore score and a three out of four for the creep factor that brings August Underground to an 8 out of 10 on the scariest media scale. I gotta be honest, this is um, definitely hard to watch. Um, do I recommend it? If you're a sick fuck like me, sure, I recommend it. Because it is, it is not like any other horror movies I've seen. Um, it is definitely hard to watch. And I fully recommend 
on this to the sickest of the sick who are into this kind of movie. If you cannot find any good horror movie that can get to you at all, this is the kind of movie I'd recommend because serial killers are in real life, right? Serial killers are in real life. This kind of violence can happen in real life and all it takes is just one mistake running into the wrong person at the wrong time and you could end up like some of the victims in this movie. So for that, that's why August Underground gets an 8 out of 10. Well, there you go. My name is Brendan Reviews and I hope you all have a great day, evening, night, whatever the fuck time you guys are watching this and I will see you all next time. And you're still here? Please, just turn off the fucking video. I know that half of you guys are watching this while you're going to bed, so turn off the TV, go the fuck to bed.